the women are broke. All right, you all. So last night I was recommended a video. And in this video, it was depicting just how sad and sorry a lot of these females are going out today. And it's all because they felt like they would be able to rely on men being blind, deaf, and dumb forever. But what do I always say? I always say that we are now dealing with a new breed of men to where they are snapping up out of their slumbers, waking up, peeping game, and realizing, wait a minute, <laughs> am I wasting my money? Am I wasting my time? And not only are they thinking to themselves, are they wasting their money and time, but ultimately, am I wasting my money and my time? on these females, on these women that do not bring my life real value, that do not make my life more enjoyable and easier. Like, what am I really doing? Right? And see, a lot of these chicks, they solely wanted to rely on the fact of them being sexy or them being attractive and them being beautiful. But I always say, that those things should be bonuses. It should never be the end all be all to who you are and what you are as a woman. Because now this day has come to where the majority of y'all are broke. Now, I told y'all so. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I told y'all so when it came to moving with class, decency, and respect, making sure that you are a woman of integrity and morals. I told y'all to make sure that that was your makeup, not just how you make up your face and make up your hair and make up your body, make up your clothes, but what is your internal makeup like? What is your mentality? What is your personality? Those are the things that are going to carry you. Because look at y'all now. With y'all feeling like, oh, I'm the baddest chick and I can do what I want to do. And, you know, I can be what I want to be. And as long as I got that bag coming, it don't matter about me being a submissive woman, a cooperative woman, a good quality woman. It don't matter. Forget morals. It's about getting to that money, money over morals. That's what you females were on. And you would call women such as myself, pick me's and male worshipers and you name it. But look at y'all now. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Look at y'all now. Now you are out here in very compromising positions. Very unfortunate positions that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. And see, the reason why I was telling you women to move differently, not get caught up in whole culture, that fast money life. The reason why I was telling y'all that was because I knew it was short lived. It's only so it's only for so long. You can just rely on your looks. You can just rely on. X with the S in front of it. It's only so long before that gets played out, tired and through. Before men actually look for depth, things of more substance, women that they can really relate to. But y'all don't want to listen. Again, you feel like you're the baddest chick. It won't happen to you, but it will. And it always does. Life eventually catches up to you. And a lot of y'all who felt like that fast money would keep coming in forever, just based upon how sexy you were and how good you can sell X with the S in front of it. Look at y'all now. A lot of those quote unquote pick me's 
are doing better than y'all, living better than y'all, and with the quality men that y'all tried to say that you were too good for, right? Again, y'all get these likes up. This is some real talk from your little big sis. Y'all said that we were the ones that were setting women up for failure, setting women back. Because we were telling women, hey, nothing wrong with being sexy, nothing wrong with being beautiful, but do not rest on just that. Don't be out here trying to use up these men for their money. Make sure that you are actually pouring into these men so they can see your value. They can see the necessity to continue to pour into you. Because it's a new time, a new breed of men. They're looking for more depth. They're looking for more substance. They're looking for more value in women outside of what type of X with an S in front of it you can sell and give to them. A lot of y'all that really tried to condemn women like me, that were trying to live with integrity, have morals. A lot of y'all that swore up and down <laughs> That in the end, you would come out on top better off than me. It's not looking like you did. Like the video. Shout out to the platform by the name of, let me see, what was the name of the platform? Because I like to give people their credit. Um, it was called Destro. Reborn. So shout out to Destro Reborn. Um, this was a video that was on their platform. You all feel free to go and check out that video in its full context if you want to. But what I did was I just kind of pieced together, you know, the clips of the young ladies and the stats that really illustrated just how down and out these females are and how much I told them. So never live your life like this. Okay. Never. Because it eventually catches up to you and you'll have nothing to show for it. So make sure that you are being a woman of, again, integrity, class, decency, respect. Make sure that you have your morals in the proper order. Make sure that you are treating men with class, decency, and respect. That way you can find and attract and accept into your life a man that is ready and willing to pour into you, take care of you. You know, be um, supportive of you. Be with you for the long haul, the long run. He does not mind investing into you because he sees your value. He sees how you invest and pour into him. But when you just try to rely on selling sex and thinking that men will simp forever, you got you to gotta be careful with that. You got to wake up from that. New time. But let's get into this, you all. These are the, the OF chicks, right? The Instagram hotties, the OnlyFans models. These are those chicks that swore up and down. They was getting to that bag and they probably were at one point, right? To where they were dealing with a new or a different breed of men. To where they the men were kind of simping. But see, due to the men not simping no more, huh? due to the men demanding more, for themselves, having standards now, yeah, a lot of these chicks on the decline. Again, you should have just been a good woman. You could have got you a good man that could have taken care of you forever. Let's get into it. And again, like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. What's up, y'all? I'm Danny, and I'm an OnlyFriends creator. And I wanted to show you the reality of what I make on OnlyFriends. Um, there's a misconception that some people make like bank on OnlyFriends and that's just not the case for everybody. And so I just wanted to show you what I make as someone who posts multiple times a week, has like 5,000 followers on Twitter and promotes on Twitter pretty regularly. So what is she saying? She said that she is a OnlyFriends or OnlyFans model or content creator. And she said that she is one of the more consistent content creators. Right. Which means that you would believe that she is going to make consistent money. Right. I mean, work translates over into money. Right. 
Well, you would think so, but that's not what she's saying. But let's listen. Okay. This is my breakdown from the last few months. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. You would be better off working at McDonald's. Let's do a breakdown of these numbers. And again, this is somebody who says she posts consistently, has a pretty decent following. In February, she made $164.12. And and 12 164.12 divided by, let's say, 30. She made $5.47 a day in February. $5 a day. It's looking like the most she made was in November, and that was $282.59. Let's divide that by 30. So the most she's made by selling her body. Let's not make a let's not make a doubt about it. That's exactly what you're doing. You're selling your body and your soul and your integrity and your morals and your value. And also you're deterring a lot of the quality men from wanting to be with you. All for a whopping nine dollars and forty one cents. We're going to round up to forty two cents because it's a nine that follows that. So these chicks are out here talking about they're living their best lives. They're getting to the bag. They're strong, independent boss chicks. They don't need no man. They'll never be a pick Misha like Danica Marie, right? These chicks are doing all of that, selling their bodies, their souls, their morals, their values, all of those things for a whopping $9.42 a day. Again, you would be better off at McDonald's, Popeye's. Chick-fil-A, Crystals, White Castles, Red Lobsters, Applebee's, the Cheesecake Factory, you know, the restaurants that y'all are too good for, you would be better off working at those restaurants that you're too good for. That's how bad and pathetic y'all are doing. And again, these are the same chicks that swore up and down, you know, they was living their best lives, they was doing it big. They're making, what, roughly $200 a month? Barely? What is that going to do? When you could have gotten with a good quality man and he could have gave you that in a fucking hour. Excuse my language. Not even an hour. And I'm, I'm just being honest, y'all. These chicks, they say that women like me are setting women backwards and stuff like that. But this is chump change. My husband gives me this for my nails. Do you understand? My vacuum cleaner that my husband just ordered yesterday costs more than this. And this is what y'all are selling y'all bodies for. Your souls for. When again, you could have just got an alignment and had you a good man to give you this just because. This is household appliance money. Are you serious? Wake up. Because the men did. Me and peep game on y'all like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm giving her all of this and she's not even my woman. She's not even respecting me. She don't even respect herself. What am I doing? This is why the women are going broke for real. The women are going broke for real because the men wisened up. Drizzle, drizzle. Hold on. Let's get into it. Y'all like the video, show the video and subscribe. You know, I have goals, you know, I, um, I do YouTube as well. I so, you. yeah, but I, I have like things it. I want to like accomplish this year as well. So, I feel that, yeah. I feel that. A few moments later. I've been a dancer. I've sold myself for money. Um, I, I did OnlyFans. I'm so, are you homeless? I am. She said she has sold herself for money. She's danced, she's done OnlyFans, and she is homeless. Again, y'all, I told y'all so. 
first things first, I told y'all that even if you were the type of chick that was raking in the dough, right? Let's say that you were a very successful OF model or whatever. Even if you were that type, I told y'all first things first, that that wouldn't last forever, right? And on top of that, what did I also say? I also said a lot of these chicks out there, they're fronting and faking. Y'all don't know the half of what they are having to do in order to present a certain lifestyle. In order to live a certain lifestyle or fake a certain lifestyle. Because let's be clear, you all, a lot of these chicks that were flashing their money and flashing their cheese and flashing their keys, a lot of those chicks, they were not really living that way. But even if they were, let's say if they were, right? And again, y'all get these likes up. Y'all like the video, some real talk from your little big sis. Let's say that these chicks really were living the lavish life, the luxury life. Well, they're not telling you even a fraction of the things that they, they'd have to do in order to obtain that money, obtain that luxury home or that luxury car or whatever the case may have been. Right. A lot of these chicks, I mean, let's put it like this. Um, they are being passed around like, I don't know, Frisbees. Mm -hmm. They are giving, I don't know, a buffet for a squad, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's giving all you can skeet. Buffet for a squad, a whole bunch of homies, and we're going to keep it right there for you, too, because we got to be careful and watch out. But they're not telling y'all all of that. They're only showing you what they want to show you. And before you know it, you get reeled in, you get pulled in like, oh, OK, well, I want to be like her. But do you really? Do you really want to be like her to where she's having to sell everything? for pennies on the dollar. And even if she is making a whole bunch of money, is it really worth your sanity, your peace, your soul? Let's continue. But before we do y'all, and again, like the video, um, when I did watch the, this full video in its full context over on Destro, uh, Reborn's channel, I hope I'm saying that, that name right. But when I did watch this, uh, complete video and y'all go and check it out if you want to, this chick here, she says that she is a single mother. Um, she has two baby daddies and, um, she was pretty much living in her car with her children. She also posted some very, let's say, risque videos, you know, to where she was being very um, actually enticing, right? And so it, it just really goes to show you just how much these chicks do not think things clearly and thoroughly through, you know? It's all about here and now. It's all about that quick, fast money. And also, you all, they're not choosing the proper men to be with, to procreate with, which is also setting them into these very compromising positions. Go and get with you a good man. Go and find you a guy who may be, quote unquote, boring to you, lame to you. You know? And y'all really need to do that internal work so you can snap out of that thinking. A man that is responsible is not lame and boring, okay? A man that is not dogging you out is not lame and boring, a squares. Please stop, okay? I, I need y'all to do that first, all right? Let's start there. Go and do the internal work on yourself so that you can unlearn a lot of the things that you were taught. That way, when you do find a good quality man, you're not wasting his time, using him up. You really see value in him, okay? So, so start there. That way you don't keep bringing children into these very dead-end situations to where they're living in a rental car with you. Yes, this chick here was in a rental car that she could not pay for, that she could not afford, homeless with her children in the backseat. 
complaining about her baby daddies that again she chose i gotta choose better men but first you gotta choose better for yourself because the children are ultimately the ones that really suffer behind your your choices and have to suffer the consequences of your actions let's continue but yeah this is sad this lady said that she pretty much sold everything that she possibly could including her soul and she's still broken homeless okay you're thinking about making an only fans i'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't um coming from someone who happily does you're not gonna make nearly as much money as like other influencers are gonna tell you that you're gonna because like that that's oversaturated market at this point maybe in 2016 this is a get rich quick kind of thing not anymore meanwhile that's what i said y'all and i hate to keep pausing it but i gotta i gotta tap myself on the shoulder and dust the dirt off my shoulder I said that it would not last forever. She she just said, look, if you're thinking about starting a, an account, right, to where you're going to be selling yourself and all this for some money, let me tell you why you shouldn't. The reason why you shouldn't is you're not going to make as much money as you think. It's an oversaturated market. Maybe back in 2016, you could have. But today, no. And why is that? The reason why that is, is because first things first, like she said, it's oversaturated. So many different women are doing it to where it's like, uh, it's kind of points for you to jump in on this. But second off, like I said earlier, a lot of the men are not on that same type of time like they used to be. Men are not paying for that. Especially when they can get it for free. Let's be clear, you all. It's 2024. The men are the ones that are in high demand. And I know y'all hate to hear things like that. And y'all going to call me a pick me and all of that. Cool. But it's the truth. The truth is what it is. The men are the ones who have realized their faults and flaws, realized their value, and they're taking their value with them. They're improving upon the mistakes that they've, they've made in the past. And part of the mistakes that they made in the past was dealing with 304s paying for 304s that again are not giving them anything of real substance real value it's a waste not an investment so the reason why a lot of y'all are going broke is because the men are not simping on my baby they're not saving you anymore baby but like i said it would not last forever so please do not bank on it. But so many of y'all condemn me. I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Meanwhile, I mean, I'm, I'm homeless. I don't have a home. That don't mean I'm broke. <laughs> Again, y'all, peep the patterns. Another homeless OnlyFans model. Another homeless IG thought. A another homeless. Come on, y'all. And a lot of these chicks are so egotistical that they cannot even say they were wrong. They cannot even admit they messed up. She on here tomorrow. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I said I was homeless, but that don't mean I'm broke. Girl, if you cannot afford a place to live, you're broke. And that goes back into you all's... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Your, your priorities, right? So let's say that you do have a whole bunch of money in the bank. Well, the mere fact alone that you would rather, you know, be homeless, not have a roof over your head. And a lot of y'all do have children. But the mere fact alone that you would rather have a whole bunch of money but be homeless speaks volumes about your, your priorities. Ma'am, make the proper moves with your money. That way you can have the stability and security that all women need. Like, it's not a flex. Oh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of money, but you know what I'm saying? I'm on the streets and so, yeah, so don't get it twisted. That's not something to brag about. Y'all get these likes up. Am I wrong? Y'all let me know. Let's continue. And if you think that everybody who live in the shelter have no money, then baby, you going down sad. 
Girl, you're going outside. She just said, yeah, and if you feel like just because somebody who live in a shelter ain't got no money, you going outside, ma'am, 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 ma'am. It is already a sad, pitiful shame that you even have to resort to going to a shelter. Let's start there. On top of that, let's say that you, again, have all this, you know, buku money that you, you speak of. Well, it's also a crying shame that somebody such as yourself is taking up room in a shelter when it could be utilized for a less fortunate person. Go and take all this millions of dollars that you claim that you have and go and get you a place to stay if you're not this broke, Right. So that somebody else can take your spot that is less fortunate than you. So all the way around, ma'am, you're the one that's going outside. Let's stop the cap. You know what I'm finding? Average women think they're better than average men. Every woman wants this exceptionally great guy, right? Um, when I say exceptional, that means he's... Uh, making at least six figures or doing really, really well for himself. He is good looking. Um, he has to be a certain height, just these crazy standards. But then sometimes these same women don't match physically, um, mentally. They don't even have, they're not even on the same wavelength as him when it comes to where they're going in life. So that's another thing. I need women to humble themselves, especially average women. Especially average women. You're no better than average men. Well, let me say it's something to that effect. And again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I feel like all women need to humble themselves. I don't care if you're average. I don't care if you're above average. I don't care if you are the quote unquote baddest of all baddest chicks. Okay. All women people need to humble themselves be grateful you know what i mean i think we all need to move with class decency and respect have integrity have humility i think we all need that you know um but i will say that there are way too many chicks out here who feel like they are holier than thou and you know they are the prize and all that and it's like ma'am this is why you're in the position right now to where you are broke and begging let's make no doubt about it a lot of y'all are broke and begging so yeah you definitely need to humble yourself you definitely need to make sure that, you know, you're being somebody that uh, is being appreciative and putting in the work. If you want something from a man, make sure that you're ready and willing to be complimentary to that said man. Pour into him as well. But let's continue. Here is a rough calculation of how much money the top 10% OnlyFans content creators make. The top 10% OnlyFans content creators make over $1,000 a month. The top 1% makes more than $6,000 every month. The top 0.1% make over $100,000 a month. They're all laying in me. So what does that tell you? 90% of OF creators are making less than minimum wage. <laughs> Let's take that back. And y'all get these likes up. This is not funny. <laughs> Let's look at this. It says, here is a rough calculation of how much money the top 10% OF content creators make. The top 10% OF content creators make over $1,000 a month. <laughs> Excuse me. That is pitiful. Again, y'all, like, this is what y'all selling y'all bodies for? Selling y'all souls for $1,000? Ma'am, go to Popeyes. It says the top 1% makes more than $6,000 a month. That's still... <sighs> Let me put it like this, y'all. If you were to get with 
let's say an average earning man and maybe you're an average earning woman y'all can make more than that together but again a lot of these chicks were up and down uh -uh, i ain't settling y'all some broken dusties and this and the third ma'am ma'am you would be better off getting with those men that you think that you're too all high and mighty for and building with them like i, I don't get it y'all are out here talking about struggle love and everything of that sort but your whole life is a struggle love story if if, if building with an average earning man and all of that you know equates to struggle love what do you call this struggle poverty I mean, I, I, I'm I'm really trying to make it make sense. This is pathetic to me. I'm going to be honest, y'all. For the amount of things that you have to sell and give up, including your morals, your soul, your value, and all of that, $6,000 ain't ish. It's not enough. I would even go as far as saying that $100,000 is not enough. If I'm going to be selling my whole entire soul, my life included, you know what I mean? I'm going to need life-changing money. $100,000 ain't ish, especially in today's time. Now, again, one can say, oh, uh, $100,000 a month. I mean, come on, that's a, lot. that's a whole bunch of money. But the thing is, like, I, I scratch that, y'all. Some things are priceless. I don't even care if it is life changing money, life changing money. Like some things are priceless. Some things you can just not buy and you cannot get back. Your soul being one of those things. And so I just I would highly recommend you not do this. And 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 the fact that only one percent of y'all are even touching that is really just speaking volumes as as far as how much a lot of y'all are really struggling. Y'all are barely making $1,000 a month. But then you want to condemn the men and call them broke and dusty. Ma'am, the men are making way more than this. They really are. A lot of the guys, I'm just going to be perfectly honest with y'all. A lot of the guys out there, they're probably touching $6,000 a month. Easy. Let me put it like this, and this is not to brag and boast, okay? And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Y'all call me a struggle lover. Y'all call me a pick me and all of that. If, let's just put it like this, $6,000 a month is decent money, but I, uh, I would need more than that. We make more than, way more than that, okay? And I have a husband, so it's way more than that. Let's put it like this, $6,000 a month is a bad month. It's a bad month, okay? So for y'all to be out here selling your body, selling your soul, you know, really messing up your children's lives and everything for a merely $1,000 a month or maybe a $6,000 a month check, it, it's just not worth it. And again, I told y'all so. And the reason why this is happening to y'all is because the men are looking for women of morals, class, decency, and respect. The men are not sipping no more. That's why this is happening. The, 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 the reason why the OnlyFans models, the, the IG models, and all the bad chicks and everything are going broke is because the men are now woke. Mm-hmm. Drizzle, drizzle. The men are now woke. So y'all are going broke. Bars. I'm not going to be out here cashing out on a chick that does not value me. I'm not getting nothing out of it. It's a waste of my time, a waste of my money. I can be investing that into myself. I can be investing that money into a business, leveling myself up, or choosing a decent quality woman to invest that money in that is going to ultimately make my life more enjoyable and easier. So no. No more 304 funds, okay? But yeah, this is pitiful.
And like the content creator said, he said, you know, y'all are making less than minimum wage. Congratulations, ladies. Y'all continue to play yourselves. I hope one day you wake up and hopefully it's not too late when you do. But yeah, I thought I would come on here and let y'all know. Yeah, it was all cap and it is now a wrap. Wake up from that damn nap. Because, yeah, the men are done with that, okay? Um, Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let me know what were your key takeaways from today's dope discussion. I look forward to seeing what you got to say. Um, fellas, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Ladies, let me know how you feel about this. Um, are these stats true? Maybe you are an OnlyFans model. And you're like, uh-uh, I make way more than that. Y'all let me know. But I'm going to tell you right now, even if you are, be careful, sis. Um... I highly suggest that you do um, just practice a better, safer lifestyle. You don't want people all in your mix like that. It can be very dangerous putting yourself online like that. You can have stalkers. And a lot of the times, I'm going to be honest, I've heard countless little news stories about women being X'd out by doing things like that because, you know, it's a lot of creeps. So just be careful. Even if you are making the money, be careful. Um, and I would highly suggest that you stop. Okay. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. And remember ladies, this is not worth it. Peace.